Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you four spring breakfast recipes. It is really feeling like spring here lately and I'm remembering why I love spring so much. Really waiting for the grass to turn green and the leaves to come on the trees because it's still so ugly outside. But it is nice that the kids are getting a lot of outside time, which is wonderful. With spring comes some fresh new ingredients. If you're a gardener or you go to the farmer's market, you can get your hands on some of those bright, fresh ingredients that a lot of my meals over the winter just didn't have or highlight. So lots of potatoes and root vegetables and stews and meats, all of that I love, but I am really ready for a change. The first recipe I'm going to share with you is carrot cake einkorn pancakes. These are so delicious and a great way to add some more vegetables into your family's diet. I start by grating finely three cups of carrots, two and a half cups of einkorn flour, half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and a quarter cup coconut oil to a large bowl. After incorporating that all together, I just fried them up on my cast iron skillet. On a pancake day, I usually get four skillets going on my four burners so that I can feed my family really quickly. In my mixer bowl, I added a package of cream cheese, about a half a cup of cream and sugar to taste. I purchased this 100% unprocessed, organic and unrefined cane sugar per the recommendation of someone on Instagram and it's really good. I will also leave a link for it down below. And that is what I'm putting in my cream cheese frosting for these carrot cake pancakes. And then I topped it with some local syrup. We actually have somebody in our town who taps trees and makes their own syrup. And so getting syrup locally made this even a better breakfast. For day two, I am going to show you how to make a greens frittata. So to a large cast iron skillet, I added a whole bunch of greens. Today I went for chopped asparagus, green onions, spinach, and peas. I sauteed them in a little bit of butter. And then whisked up 12 eggs, a half a cup of cream, a half a teaspoon of salt, freshly ground black pepper, and then added that to the veggies and topped it with four ounces of goat cheese. I baked that at 400 degrees until the eggs were done and puffy. I believe, I didn't really time it, I believe it was about 15 or 20 minutes. For the next breakfast, I'm going to show you how to make sourdough donuts. Now these have been on my blog for a long time but the pictures could definitely stand to be updated and so it's a good excuse to make donuts for my family. So to make them, I'm warming up one and a quarter cups of milk with a half a cup of sugar and a quarter cup of butter. I am just dissolving the sugar and making this warm. To that, I add four cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, two eggs, 
I'm making sure to add a lot of the flour or most of the flour, three cups, and a couple of the eggs before adding in the sourdough starter. I just wanna be sure that the mixture isn't too warm from the warmed milk sugar butter combo before putting the sourdough starter in. That way we won't kill any of the good bacteria that's in the sourdough starter. One cup of sourdough starter and a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to knead it until it is smooth and elastic. Now what's interesting about this donut dough is it will take a while to come together in the mixer, but if you keep kneading it, it eventually will all pull away from the sides and come together in a ball, and that's what you're looking for. It took about 10 minutes on the lower speeds on my KitchenAid mixer. And then allow it to rise, covered with plastic wrap or a damp tea towel for five to six hours. After that, I put it in the refrigerator overnight for a bulk ferment or rise, so they'll be ready to make into donuts in the morning. Are you just eating my dough? Is it good? Say that looked good. That looked good. Now smile at me. <laughs> In the morning, I'm rolling out the dough to about half inch thick on a lightly floured surface. and then cutting out the donut shapes and donut holes. And then allowing them to rise for another two hours until double. This will again depend on how warm your house is. I like to keep them covered during this time so they don't get dry with either a damp tea towel or plastic wrap. I'm just going to fry them for two or three minutes on each side. I want them nice and puffy. And after that, I'm going to add a little glaze that I made with a quarter cup of butter, two cups of powdered sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, and about three tablespoons milk. For day four, I'm doing a spring-inspired sourdough flatbread pizza, breakfast style, of course. I cook some bacon. The night before I wanted to make this, I mixed up my flatbread dough to ferment overnight. I do have the sourdough flatbread recipe over on my blog, just a few simple ingredients overnight. And then in the morning, I kneaded it slightly, rolled it out, and grilled each flatbread on a cast iron skillet. It yielded four flatbreads. Added fried eggs, bacon, mozzarella cheese, baked them for a bit. They were really quite delicious. The only change I'd make is next time, I probably would just throw the eggs on at the end, not during the baking so I don't overcook the yolks. Still, everybody devoured them. I also added a few green onions for another spring touch. They'd be good with herbs as well. Very delicious.
All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you some ideas for some breakfast to maybe try on a weekend during spring, something that you can enjoy making on maybe a Saturday or a Sunday morning. I will also leave all links to recipes down in the description box below. I have some of them on my blog and some of them I don't have yet, but I may eventually, so I'll put them there when I do. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.